Let me tell you, let me tell you, let me tell you. I just got back from over at Carrollton, the Fowl Creation, Rick Carroll's place over there, getting the bumper put on my truck. I come in the house. I ain't been home in a day now. Let me tell you, let me tell you. Y'all know what that is. Y'all know what time that is. Yeah, that's grandma time right there. I just want y'all to know that right there. It says 73, but that thing been broke for a minute. It's about, it's 83 minimum, minimum, maybe 93 up in this house. Anyway, I done took a shot. I just put the shirt on for the video, but I ain't even dry off, really. Whew. It's hot. It's hot. But I did get in touch with an AC man, and uh, he's supposed to be here tomorrow sometime. So I took the screwdriver. I cut that thing on. Because y'all know y'all can see. I got that old school right there. I got that old school. Try not to show you my trailer because I got a lot of clothes out. <laughs> but anyway, I called my buddy Rob Bick. He says, that thing closing in. I said, it's closing in, but it's just humming. So I took that screwdriver. He said, stick that screwdriver down there and spin that thing. I said, man, it's going to kill me. I said, it's going to kill me. He said, no. He said, it's going to be fine. Stick the screwdriver. I spun that thing. He said, um, 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 And it just wasn't full speed. It ain't blowing no cold air. So I just cut the thing off. And, uh, I'm just going to do it like that tonight. I mean, I do have a window unit in my bedroom. So that's going to save me. So don't feel sorry for me. It's just, it's hot up in there, man. And my tomatoes were sitting in the windowsill, so they ain't even cold. I like a cold tomato sandwich. But anyway, so stay tuned tomorrow to see if we can't get the AC going on in the trailer hood. Huh. But until then, look at that big man. Look at that big man. Still got the Christmas tree. <laughs> you got the bath bedroom shut down. I got a window unit in there. I just got called into work. See, tried to blow some cool air in last night and cut the lights off. Try to get some cool air blowed in last night and uh, I'll get some air stirring. But anyway, uh, anywho, I'm headed to work. I got called into work just a minute ago. So, man, it's hot back here. Out here. Get that yard put today too, maybe. I don't know. Got a lot going on. Anyway. I'm trying to get the move. I didn't catch no pigs last night, so that didn't help none. But... What? Rick Carroll. <laughs> yeah. I thought that everybody gonna know Rick Carroll for us over with. Anyway, we headed to work. We got power out, so see if we can't get this done and uh see if I can't get the AC man back over here. And uh <sighs> get the trailer hood back blowing that cool air. Y'all stick with it. I'm taking my fucking truck on the inside. Gates. They're gonna pull the truck on the inside of the gates today. I got all the way here, tired, tired. Since it's going on, figure that out. Figure that out. Anyway. Go in here. Yeah, what we got, guys? Maybe it's just something simple like a squirrel. They like to get up early in the morning and kind of rattle their tail around and whatnot. Let me check this truck. I can't remember what truck I was in last. Yeah. I was in this truck last. I'm gonna get my rubbers. We'll go in the big man. That's Tonka Toy truck. We'll go in the big man truck. But, and oops. Uh. Mm -hmm. Good Saturday morning action. Man, I hope my AC guy shows up. Said it wasn't gonna be too early, but anyway. Make sure the radio ain't on. I mean, music radio. Anywho, we'll let this warm up, get some air pressure up, and roll on out, boys. Well, Let's see. I see the switch out right there. You see that or not? I'll stop it for you. Got a switch out right there at the top. Uh, which means I'm gonna 
come back this up and ride this line out and make sure all the power the lines up and then we'll come back and close her in. Creeping that line dead in right there. People out there looking like people don't understand like they be like the power's out here. The power's out here. They be looking. They be looking like why you riding them down the road? Gotta make sure all the power lines up, man. Anyway, we're just riding it, creeping it back to the switch. All the lines look up, didn't see no limbs on it, but all the transformers are connected to them look open. A lot of times squirrels get on the top side of a transformer and it blows it back to the main line. And uh, make everybody go out. Then they'll be fussing because I live so far out of the county. If <laughs> I live so far out of the county, they'd be like, it'd take them forever, but hey. My AC out of my house. The lights is on, but the AC out, so I feel you, buddy. I feel you. But we're gonna get it. We're gonna get it back on. Just give me a little bit. Just give me a little bit. So, anyways. Get back up to this intersection. Get the old truck set up. Close her back in. Make your hot, okay? That'll work, man. Y'all see me set the truck up before. Let me get all this set up. And, uh, I'll let you know when I find back on. Get it out of there. Get that switch out, get it refused, and see if we'll get right back with you. But I wanna give you a little tip, guys. You younger guys or bucket truck set up. If you get far enough away from the switch, if anything happens, you can just boom straight down. You don't have to do all that maneuvering, so. Uh, a little old tip. A lot of times I see guys set right up under the pole, go straight up, and then when you need something, you're trying to maneuver the lower boom and whatnot. Get out far enough, you can go straight up to it, work it, and if you need something, you just go straight back down, you know? So, anyway, let me get this stick out and close this thing in, we'll be ready. And she held in, so, right now, anyway. We'll go down there and make sure a few houses got power. Fourth light on to Rod Bobo for mayor. I don't know if y'all know, but Rod Bobo is our new mayor, of the city of West Point. I've been through through the years I've been here. I've been through one, two, three. This has been my fourth mayor. Uh, so looking forward to working with him or for him. So 
We shall see how it goes. I don't even FOMO years. As y'all can see, Comfort Air has showed up to the trailer hood. My man, Rob Vic. He's going to try to get me fixed up. Y'all don't pay no attention to my trashy trailer there. That's where all my stuff goes. I still need, but it ain't quite junk enough to throw away, you know? <laughs> so, anyway, he's going to get me checked out. We're going to see if we can uh, get some AC blowing back up in here. But uh, Now, Rob's the one that had me kind of troubleshooting a few things last night. And uh, anyway... I'm not a good troubleshooter when it comes to the AC, but we got it going on. So we're going to see what Rob can pull together, see if we can't get together. Stay tuned. We're looking for some cool air, Rob. We're looking for some cool air. That little, little swole. Yeah, it blowed out. We hope that's all it is right there. hope so. Now, y'all may not remember back when I lived in my other house. You remember my AC went out before I sold my other house. Rob come out and put a whole new unit in and had it done in like a day. I mean, it was, I don't know how y'all did it. Whole inside, inside, inside and outside unit. And, uh, matter of fact, when it blew, Rob, the night light went out. <laughs> like when it exploded, I went oh, in there. Yeah, when it went out. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, I went in there and tried, it's like, well, breakers trip. So I tripped it back and the night light, it knocked the, the, the night light out in the yard. So. Oh. What you think now? See what we got. All right. You already turned the other one back on, didn't you? Uh-uh. You put everything back on? That's it. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah. Now we got to turn it now. We didn't even know if it got cold at. Both have cold at. Pressure came on then. Oh, okay. Yeah, That's yeah. Why it didn't get cold by That's right. I didn't hear that. I didn't hear that. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got it now. See? That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. So you lost the screws for this? Yeah, yeah, I just kind of stick it back up in there. Best you can. That's what I'm talking about. Whoo, baby gonna sleep good tonight. Look here, if y'all around the West Point Columbus Golden Triangle Air Comfort Air, there's a number right there. Y'all screenshot the video right now to get it. Rob Vic will help you out. He is the man. Ain't nothing left but to send getting them hundred dollar bills now. When you know what you're doing, see, that's a lot of people about, and I try to tell people all the time, we talk about schooling and education and doing things. You learn something like that, it seems easy for what Rob did, but folks like me don't know how to do it. But when you show up, when it's hot inside, shoot, we finna show them them long, them long bills. <laughs> but any which way, we, back, we got air going back in the trailer hood. Thanks to Rob, we got power on in town. Them folks was hot this morning. And, uh, hey, Rob, it took me longer to get the power on in town than it took you to fix that. Was that a transformer on McClellan? Yeah. I, I saw somebody on Facebook. <laughs> and I had to get out of bed. I was hot, man. I was like, <laughs> I wasn't in no hurry. But any which way, y'all know how it is. We got the power back on in West Point. We got the AC back on in the trailer hood. Call Rob Comfort Air. Y'all have a good one. God bless. And as always, Jesus loves you.